Just recently, I read an article from a golf magazine that's over 20 years old. And uh, what they found was a study was done, uh, and it actually replicated a study that was done even decades before that, where they had the top players in the world, so we're going back to the early 80s, and you've got Greg Norman, Curtis Strange, etc. And what they had them do is they had them stand on two scales, right and left. And so they measured where was your weight at the dress, where was your weight at the top, where was your weight at impact, and then where was your, your weight shortly after impact and into the follow-through. And so what they found was really interesting, and it, and it was that the best players in the world, and in the cases of the longest hitters in the world, what they found was that most people set up 50-50. There were some variations slightly left, slightly right, but essentially the average out, averaged out at about 50-50. You did see a weight shift to the right in some cases, not as dramatic as most people would think. You didn't see 90% of the weight on the right foot. I think maybe Curtis Strange and a couple other guys were in the 70 or 80%. But essentially, it probably went from 50-50 to about 60-40 on the right side, maybe 65 on the right side. The thing that was really shocking to me, that really opened my eyes to something, was that the best players in the world at impact don't have 90% of their weight on the left side at impact. Now, what they do have, though, is immediately after impact, when the club's head extends to its maximal point, essentially all of them had 80-90% of the weight on the left side at that moment. So what it told me was that for good players, the, the tendency is to get to the top and really over-accelerate to that left side. Get the upper center and lower center really shifting hard to the left side, thinking that impact, I want to get all my weight left and really hit down on it and trap it. When in actuality what happens is that the best players in the world stay relatively centered all the way to the top. And then what happens in the downswing is that it's really just a, a gathering of their weight down to this position where they're essentially 50-50 right here. They, and then from here, they move to 60-40 left side. And in actuality, in some cases, there was more weight on the right side in some of those cases at impact. But what I found with Greg Norman, who at the time was the longest and straightest driver of the golf ball, was that at impact, he had 65% of his weight on the right side. And literally two frames later, he was at 90% on the left. And so for good players that are struggling with finding power, good ball contact, those kinds of things, one of the things I would focus on is that swinging to the top and trying to stay centered is a positive move. And then from there, the downswing is more just a gathering of your power and momentum down to this position where you really want to feel 50-50. And for those of you like me who have a tendency to get a little more this way than you need to, the feeling will almost feel more 60-40 on the right. But then at that point, you need to be in a position where you can get to 90% in just a matter of two frames on the swing. Amateurs, on the other hand, do the opposite. They get way right in the backswing. They probably get more weight right on the downswing. That right foot, instead of everting this way, their heel will pop outwards, and you'll see this sort of spinning action where if you drew a line on the hip, the hip is pulling away from the, sh from the line. That's what bad golfers do. Good players have a tendency to get too much weight left, drop the club too far underneath, and get 80-90% on impact on the ball, when in actuality it's more of a, a shift and sort of gather down into the ground, where you'll see the knee flex sort of retain its position, and you feel like a pushing down into the ground as you settle your downswing. And then from there, it's about rotation and extension of the spine through the shot, which, which takes the weight from a gathering feeling, a rotating and shifting feeling, to an exploding up into the air feeling where you go from 50-50, 60-40, to 90% immediately through the shot. So for good players, I would say something to work on and recognize that it's not a huge shift to the left. It's merely a gathering down into the ground and a settling. And then from there, it's about an explosive movement, almost like a karate move where you're lowering and getting in position and then exploding through the shot. Whereas I think a lot of times we'll drive hard left and then from there I have to immediately start to explode because we know we're too far left, we've lost our angle, we're in a bad position, we're reaching backwards for the golf ball because we've slid too far and there's too much weight left. So I would work on centered, down into the ground, gathering your power, and then bam, into the shot to hit, hit it hard. Bad golfers, you want to feel the opposite, you want to feel centered and you want to feel as though the weight's going hard left with the center staying where it is. The hip, the left, uh, your femur needs to push and point this way, the left knee, 
moves this way, feeling that move, keeping the shoulders closed. But good players, however, are going to feel more settled down into the ground and then through the shot. So I hope that helps.